Chase Your Dreams In a small, picturesque village nestled between towering mountains and lush green fields, there lived a young boy named Oliver. From an early age, Oliver was different from the other children in his village. While they were content with playing in the fields, tending to livestock, and learning the crafts passed down by their parents, Oliver was often found gazing at the distant peaks, his heart yearning for something more. The villagers would often laugh at his dreamy eyes and tell him to focus on the present, but Oliver's heart beat to the rhythm of adventure and discovery. He had heard tales from wandering travelers about the world beyond the mountains, of vast cities with towering buildings, of ships that sailed across endless oceans, and of deserts where the sand shifted like the waves of the sea. These stories fueled his imagination and filled him with a longing that he could not ignore. But the villagers, bound by tradition and the safety of the known, warned him against leaving. The world out there is full of dangers, they would say. Stay here, where you are safe and where you belong. Yet, despite their warnings, the desire to explore the unknown burned brightly within Oliver. He knew that he could not be content living his life in the village, forever wondering what lay beyond the horizon. As Oliver grew older, his determination to chase his dreams only intensified. He began to prepare for the journey he knew he must one day take. He spent hours reading every book he could find, learning about the lands and people that existed beyond the mountains. He trained his body, climbing the steep hills that surrounded the village, building his strength and endurance for the challenges ahead. He saved every penny he could, sacrificing small pleasures for the greater goal of his adventure. But as the years passed, the pressure from the villagers and even his own family grew stronger. They could not understand why he would want to leave the comfort and security of the village for a life of uncertainty. You are being foolish, his father would say, his voice tinged with frustration. We have everything we need here. Why risk everything for a dream? Oliver's mother would weep, begging him to stay, fearing that she would never see her son again if he left. But despite the growing weight of their disapproval and his own doubts, Oliver could not shake the feeling that his destiny lay beyond the mountains. He knew that if he did not try, he would spend the rest of his life regretting it. Finally, the day came when Oliver could no longer ignore the call of his dreams. With a heavy heart, he packed his belongings, said his goodbyes, and set out on his journey. The villagers watched him go with a mix of sadness and resignation, convinced that he would return defeated, his spirit crushed by the harsh realities of the world. But as Oliver walked away from the village, leaving behind everything he had ever known, he felt a sense of freedom and exhilaration that he had never experienced before. The road was long and difficult, filled with obstacles that tested his resolve at every turn. There were days when he was hungry, cold, and exhausted, when the temptation to turn back was almost overwhelming. But each time doubt crept in, Oliver would remember the tales of distant lands that had inspired him as a child, and the dream that had fueled his journey. 